What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Finding Your Purpose. Um, Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody to please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love the fact that the channel is growing, but, you know, we need to grow more. I need a thousand or more followers. That way I can start giving my good goodies that I have for the giveaway. It may be merchandise from um my brand that i'm getting started or who knows it could be some cash giveaways i have a lot of things planned but i need the page to keep growing so if you have subscribed already thank you and if you haven't do so and please all of you guys please tell your friends your loved ones tell everyone to like and subscribe we can get this thing popping um okay and with that being said um i want to get into the topics that i want to talk about there's going to be two and i'm going to go more into depth on my uh, design for a purpose podcast So, I will be heading over there right after this. And you can find that on Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. Okay, let's get into it. Now, I'm pretty sure by now all of you guys heard about a few weeks back there in Pensacola, Florida. You had this mother who encourage her son to take his daughter's mother's life and y'all know me i love the kids but people just because someone spits good game and you know you go on a few dates whatever and it's all fine and dandy that does not mean that those people are fit to be parents obviously he wasn't because in doing research you can find out that he was abusive to her that's why she moved out to florida you know she called her brother Her brother got her, you know, moved out of that situation. You know, she was working, you know, starting a a brand new life for her and her child. And here comes his ass following. You know, they had to be stalking her. And one of the things that really, really pissed me off, that's why I didn't talk about it right away, is uh, the mother of you know this the guy who did this you are a mother how the hell can you sit up and encourage your son to take your granddaughter's mother's life that lets you know right there you were not thinking about your granddaughter you were not thinking about the consequences of her losing both parents you know this is just so ridiculous and it hurts my heart to even think about like and there are people in this world with that kind of mindset i mean they found all kind of incriminating text messages that like oh you know she she's right here you better come and do it if you don't do it you know, you're a bitch, da da da, all these nasty, vulgar things. Why? Because she didn't want to put up with your son anymore? Make it make sense. This type of stuff is starting to really, really take a toll on. Not only me, but I'm pretty sure other people around the world. So you, this is just so ridiculous. What about the children that are suffering? 
because their parents are no longer here due to your ignorance. It just, it really makes no sense. And you could tell, well, in my opinion, it seems like you could tell he really didn't want to do it. It seems like he was pushed into doing it because why would you do that and then go close by and call the police and tell them you did it? Obviously, you didn't want to do it. Just face the fact she wanted to move on. You guys did not work out, and that's okay. Nobody said whoever you have a child with, they're your lifetime partner. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Some people are only in our lives for a season, and you mess around and have to deal with them for a lifetime. And, you know, as I stated earlier, some people are not equipped to be parents. That's it and that's all. That's it and that's all. And it's sad that, you know, the children are suffering because of this ignorance that is happening. Now you have this two-year-old that is going to grow up without a mother or a father. Because of his ignorance, they're both taken away. And, you know, I just feel so sorry for her family because, you know, they tried to get her out of this. You know, they got her, moved her to a whole nother state. They had to be following her. They had to be following and stalking her to know she she's at work this time. She does this and that. They had to be following her. And this type of shit is not okay. It makes you want to live the single life. Matter of fact, I was talking to a few of my family members the other day after doing all this research for this. And they were saying, you know what, at this point, it's best for people just stay single. Stay single. Because every day... You're either reading about a story or seeing it on the news or on one of your media outlets, however you get your news. And it's always something tragic. And it has to do with, oh, they were in a relationship, The you know, the relationship was rocky and you know you know he or she decided to leave and that's when uh, tragedy strikes it is best to adopt the single life and as a matter of fact one of my cousins was like man and if you want to you know have kids why don't you Get a sperm donor. That way you don't, you don't know who you have to deal with, this and that. You know, and at this point, <laughs> it's looking brighter and brighter every day. It, it, it's sad because the more and more you think you know somebody, you really don't. And we are living in a world nowadays where people will not accept the fact that it's not going to work out. You can't force anyone to stay with you. Who says someone has to stay and put up with 
the nonsense. We're already promised struggles in life. Why do I have to stay with you and put up with whatever problems we're having that we could really do without if we separate? You know, it's this is r- ridiculous. But, you know, we're living in a world towards, like, people, if I can't have you, nobody can. And it it's not okay. Not at all. So, yeah, you know, that story really bothered me. So, rest in peace to the young lady that lost her life. And I hope her daughter is raised well and learns a lot about her and you know I hope she you know does everything she desires to do in life and you know and most importantly I hope the two that did this I hope justice is served and I hope they never see the light of day again Okay, and then one more quick story that I wanted to hit on. You have little Josiah Mitchell out of Georgia. I want to say decap Georgia. Um, this hurts because it hits close to home and I'm going to say it again y'all know I love the kids Um, his father was the last one to be seen with him and he it's been missing for about a week, two weeks. And now they say they have found a child's body. And they're saying it could be his. But they're not coming out definite yet. But here we go again. Just because you and the mother did not work out the child suffers and in in this in this way the child suffers because I believe the father knew what went on. He gave this bogus lie about how when he was leaving out of the parking lot, he he got jammed up by, you know, these cars that pulled up beside him and was like, you know, give me the money and give me all the other stuff, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, shit that he shouldn't have had. But anyway, it turns out to be a lie. And it's like, okay, you lied about that. So, where's your son? But apparently, he wasn't cooperating with anybody. He wasn't cooperating with the police. He hasn't been cooperating with either side of the child's family. And I'm like, how could you? That is your own flesh and blood. You know, just thinking about this right now makes me tear up. Because it's like, that's your own flesh and blood. He's two years old. His eyes probably lit up seeing you walk through the door. I mean, you guys, children, they don't know any wrong. 
All they know how to do is love. And it just, it hurts knowing that, you know, we're seeing more and more children be born, you know, to these monsters. How could you? I don't know. It's just so painful. And, you know, I feel sorry for the mother's, you know, family, the father's family, too, because, you know, I'm pretty sure they loved him, too. But that father, he deserves it everything coming his way and I don't mean that in a good way because if he didn't physically do it himself he knows what went on because if you didn't then why are you not cooperating you say you got jammed up between the scars you know they robbed you this and that and they took your son I don't know nobody in the world that is just going to sit there and give up their kid. If anything, they'll die in the line of trying to save their kid. And for you to sit there and, you know, once you're caught up in your lie, nobody's buying that story anymore. You're just not going to cooperate at all? Like... I don't understand. That's why I don't feel sorry for him at all. They need to put him in general population and let him get his ass beat. I'm sorry to be like that, but this type of shit is not okay. I mean... If you didn't want to be in the child's life, just leave them alone. Leave them alone. He could have grew up without him. You didn't even give him a fair shot at, you know, life. But, you know, it's just... Things like this is starting to become the norm, and it's not okay. It's not okay. And, you know, that's why I took a little longer to do this show because I really wanted to talk about these topics. But it's hard. Like, if you have a heart, it's hard. Because either way you look at it, in both of these stories, the children suffer due to the ignorance of people who are supposed to love them. So... People, let me just say this before I get out of here. People, be careful who you have kids with. Be careful who you have kids with. Not everybody is parent material. Because you got to think about all these aspects. Okay, if we break up, how... Is he going to react? How is she going to react? You know, is he or she going to come after me after, you know, we break up? I mean, you got to look at all aspects instead of just, you know, I know how, I know people say live in the moment and all that, you know, nowadays you can't just live in the moment. You got to look at the bigger picture because it's too much tragedy all around us 
And a lot of it could be avoided if we just pay attention, you know. And just because you have a good conversation with somebody, that doesn't mean they're good people. They they could be good for that moment. So just be careful. Look out for yourself. Look out for your loved ones. I mean, if you see signs that something ain't right, speak up. Speak up. Because we have too many cases where children are either losing their lives or, you know, basically altering their their lives are being altered because they lose a parent here or there so just be careful and if you see things aren't right speak up don't be quiet silence hurts let me say that again silence hurts it it does so with that being said i love you guys and let's remember we are all designed for a purpose therefore we all have a purpose no matter how big how small we all have a purpose and if you have found it stand on it don't let anybody knock you off and if you haven't found it it's okay keep searching it's there you will find it be blessed And I will see you all next week. Love ya.